Welcome. What I want to do today is show you how to connect to your connect Calxa to your MYOB file and get started with working on it. First, I just want to show you some of the tools we've got available to help you get started. We've got a series of videos. This is number one about connecting to your accounting file. Number two tells you how to enter your budget or import it. Number three talks about analyzing your reports. Four is about the tax setup. Five is a review of the cash flow settings. Most people won't need to do anything much there. Six, we talk about analyzing your cash flow chart. And step seven, which doesn't really need a video, is just present your reports to board or management. Now, I also want to tell you about the training and support that we've got available for you. On-site training is available from our accredited partners. We're running a series of webinars, and details of those are online. Our phone number is 1800 733 249. These training videos are available on the website or on your CD. We will be running classroom training over the next few months for those who like hands-on learning. Our website also contains a section with a list of support notes. It will shortly contain information on our Calxa Club, which is some regular network meetings we'll be holding. You can email helpme at calxa.com to get technical support. Frequently asked questions are available on our website. And we'll also be hosting web chats. So that's like a webinar, but a lot less, info lot less formal and more about you asking questions about the things that interest you and what you need answers to. Okay, now we're ready to install. So we run the installer, just review the license, make sure you're happy with that. Go next. We generally recommend using the default location. It'll put a shortcut on your desktop and your start menu. Click install and away it will go. And then when we finish, it'll launch Calxa. Now, if you're a single user with just one organization, click on create organization. If you're sharing your budgets with someone else, click on choose another data source. And then you can either browse to where that data source has already been set up, if somebody else has already set it up, or create a new one. So click on create, open there. That's the default folder, which is uh, under users and app data. But if you want to store your data somewhere else, just create a new folder somewhere and change that file name to something that suits your organization. And that could be on your local computer or on the network. And then sign in. And now create organization, which is where we link to our accounting file. So browse to the folder where your MYOB file is, select that, and then click create. And it will then go through the process of importing data from the MYOB file. And that will just take a minute or two. Again, depending on how long, how big your MYOB file is, whether it's coming across the network, that's dependent on the MYOB ODBC driver. And anytime you want to update the data from MYOB, just come into this organization management screen and there'll be an update button, which you'll see in a moment, and just click on that and it will refresh the MYOB data for you. Okay, so now we've successfully imported that organization. And you'll see there at the bottom, you've got the update option. So you can always come in here to organization management. Last month in the financial year gets picked up from your MYOB file. You can change that if you want. If you've got an overdraft, that gets stored here. 
and that gets used on the cash flow forecast report later. Now, you would have got a serial number when you purchased Kautzer. If you just copy that from whatever document you received it on, go to register, and you'll see it automatically pastes it in there for you. So then in the registration, all you need to do is put in your name, organisation, and address details. And the reason we collect your address details there is so that we can keep in touch and make sure that you get any updates you're entitled to. Um, we can send you training information. If at any time we're sending you stuff that you don't want, just let us know. We'll stop sending it. Okay, and just put your email address there at the end. Click on register. That goes off to the website. And then the next step is just to activate. If you have any problems activating, just give us a call and we can do it manually over the phone. On the help menu, you'll also find a deactivate option for when you want to move to another computer and also check for updates. And it will tell you if your software is up to date or download the latest changes and improvements for you. Thank you for listening. Um, this is the end of step one. You're now ready to move on to step two and learn how to enter your budgets. Thank you.